G'day guys, Scarpa Rebel Run. Running shoe or speed hiker? We decide. G'day guys, it's Rocky here from Further Faster and it's beer o'clock review time when we talk about beer, we talk about some gear. Um, first up, I uh, got a beer today. Uh, it's an Aussie beer from Salt Brewing Company at Aries Inlet in Victoria. Never had a beer from these guys. These guys came in and dropped this off for us, especially so we could talk about it. Um, I believe uh, they were unfortunate in the Vicky fires, in Victoria fires a couple of years ago, their brewery uh, burnt down, but now it's back up and running. And uh, yeah, so what we're drinking here is a coffee infused stout. It's winter, why not? Um, this is my first time with this, so you know, let's see what it looks like. It's gonna look like a stout, obviously. It's gonna be dark. It's running at 5.8%, so it's not a daft uh, volume of alcohol. Yeah, okay. It's actually um, almost hoppy for a stout. It's not, a, it's not, a, it's not, as, not as thick as you, you'd get some stouts. Chocolatey over notes as well. It's actually quite a nice one, that. But I can see where, see where there's a bit of coffee in it as well. Yep, definitely a sipper though. Uh, you sit on it for a while, I reckon. Anyhow, if you come across it, that is uh, Salt Brewing from Victoria. I can't actually, it's cold drip coffee infused stout. There we go. Um, right, on to the gear. So I'm going to talk about uh, this shoe here from Scarpa. We've had it in stock a while now. Um, never really got a chance to do a review on it because I've not used it. But for the last month, I've been using a set, so we've got my set here. So this is the Scarpa Rebel Run. Now, these guys are well known for their mountain boots and they've been doing running shoes now for the last five or six years and they're bringing more and more out. So this particular one, they've, they say it's a short to mid distance running shoe. Um, I'd probably argue a fact on that one a little bit later because I think you could use it for longer things. Anyhow, let's have a look at it. This is my pair, this is a new pair. So first of all, you'll recognize that they are speed lace shoes. Now you either love or hate speed lace. I'm a firm fan of it, but when you do buy them new, they do come with separate laces if you want to. Now the fit, um, I'd say it's a pretty big fit actually. There's quite a lot of volume in this shoe and it's quite wide at the front. If I was going to compare it in terms of fit to anything, uh, it fits like a, just a bit narrower than a speed goat wide. And I am talking about the wide speed goat. Um, so the fit is very similar to that. Um, a lot of volume in the forefront. If you've got a narrow fit, you probably won't get on with a shoe. But if you've got a, you know, you like a widespread um, at the toe box, I think this would be a great shoe for you. It is also a sock fit as well, which, which works really well with, this, with, this, with, this, with the speed thing. In you go, pull it tight, and it really clamps around your foot. So, so you know, it gives you a real good feel uh, when you're out and about in it. In terms of uh, usage, um, th they reckon, um, let's say, small, short to medium runs, there's quite a bit going on there. It's quite, it's quite responsive. Um, you've got a four mil drop to it, by the way, 24 at the, at the back, 20 at the front. Um, EVA, medium cushion midsole, but super comfortable. Uh, I've been using these for five or six weeks now, and uh, I was lucky enough to use them where they were designed as well in Dolomites, and they've been absolute winning shoes, to be fair. Um, the sole unit on them is using Vibram's own sole unit. Uh, that's obviously, there's a brand new one here. It's a four mil lug. You can see I've been battering mine a little bit. Um, what's it gonna work well on? Well, straight away, this is a super sticky rubber. Um, so upsides to that, if you're on rock, you're going to find where you put your feet, they are going to stick. Downsides, softer rubber will wear out a little bit faster. Um, could you use it in full on mud conditions? Probably not. But everything else you threw at it would be fantastic. In terms of what would this shoe be good for uh, in NZ? The majority of runs other than deep winter running. You could, um, it'd, be, it'd be fantastic for something like Kepler and things like that. And you've got the comfort in this sole to, to, you know, you could have a full day out on this, no dramas whatsoever. I'd argue actually this sole is stickier than the Vibram 
Mega Grip Soul, you get on the likes of a Hoka or something like that. I know I keep going back to a speed goat, but this is kind of like a, a better fitting speed goat in some ways. A less clumsy shoe in my own, my own humble opinion. And in terms of construction, it's built like really a brick house house. Um, you've got TPU overlayers everywhere. It's really, really well built. As you can see, there's no wear on the upper of this and I don't look after anything. So it's gonna, it's gonna last a long time. You're gonna get a fair number of Ks out of this shoe. Um, but that's the running side of it. Where I think you'll find this is also gonna work really well is as a, somebody wants a lightweight approach shoe or a speed hiker. Again, it's gonna work, it's gonna be really good for that. Uh, in terms of weight, it's about 280 grams actually, 280 grams. Uh, so it's quite nice, n nice and light. But again, because this is so sticky, it's gonna make a great approach sole as well. Say you, you, you have to do some grippy climb and you, you know, you've got the riverbed to walk down for 20 k's. What a great shoe to do that in. Or you've got a light pack, you're doing a hut to hut mission. Again, a great shoe. So my opinion is it's, you know, it's a great running shoe, but it also transfers into that hiking, fast hiking area really well as well. And yeah, that's my initial um, review on this. I'm gonna review it more after I've had six months out of things. Let's just see how they go. But that's uh, the Rebel Run by Scarpa. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.